So thing that I need for the install. I've got a extra long cord to reach up on the roof. I've got a drill for drilling the holes for uh, the hardware. I've got a level for the antenna mast. Make sure that's straight up and down. Tool belt is very helpful. Uh, caulking gun for when I install the hardware. Uh, crescent wrench for attaching the antenna to the mast and a tape measure so I can lay out where I'm going to drill because I went in the attic earlier and figured out the spacing on, on the trusses. Also I forgot to mention that when you order these antenna masts you really want to order this hardware and uh, they call them pitch pads. They're uh, like a waterproofing pad for your roof so that's really important. I'm also using the caulk obviously for uh, filling the holes uh, when I put the screws in but that is uh, definitely worth it and it's really cheap so uh, definitely buy that so I will start my install so I just wanted to include this real quick um, this is just a really quick rig that I came up with in about an hour uh, one night we really had to get it up so I just slapped this up here and um, this is a good way to test it out and make sure that the antenna will work before you put holes in your roof. So uh, I just wanted to include that just to throw out an idea. Had it the had it way up there, but it works fine at that level, and that's where the antenna is is going to be the height. So I wanted to try it there. So there you go. Now I went ahead and uh, and put a few dabs of silicone in these holes. Um, squished it down in there that way I'll have the pitch pad and the silicone on the threads to where uh, hopefully it'll be pretty waterproof I don't want any leaks okay so after you get your holes drilled go ahead and uh, take the one side sticky off of the, the pitch pads and apply it to your feet now you just have to peel that off. Another helpful tip is that when you get your pitch pad on and you're ready to screw it in, you can go ahead and just start your threads into the pitch pad. That way your screws are in place and not fumbling around with hardware on the roof. Also, there was some squeeze out from, the, uh, from tightening it down. Uh, the pitch pad squeezed out a little bit, so I went ahead and took that squeeze out and completely covered up the screw heads. Uh, so that'll just help a little bit more to prevent leaks. Okay, so I've got the feet mounted. And after I mounted the feet, I went ahead and tightened up that screw and nut. I added a, uh, a lock washer on it too, just to, for extra security. And uh, it's pretty solid. It doesn't really move around much and seems like that'll work. Those bends I made on the feet really worked out well. Uh, if I hadn't have done that, it would have been cocked kind of weird and I don't think it would have sealed very well. Um, so that's how you do that. Alright, so I got it all installed and everything's level and it's getting 5G or 5 bars of 4G. So we're all good. I'll do another video on uh, permanently installing the wire, but for now this will do. Alright, thanks for watching.